Chronicles of Containment, SCP-1048, Whispers of the Teddy Bears. Our story unfolds within the secure walls of Site-24, deep in the heart of the SCP Foundation's top secret facilities. Here, hidden away from the world, lies a peculiar entity, designated as SCP-1048. SCP-1048, known as the Teddy Bear, is unlike any plush toy you've ever encountered. It stands at approximately 50 centimeters tall, with a round, innocent face and fluffy fur that invites warm embraces. Yet, do not be deceived by its appearance, for within this cuddly exterior lies a chilling secret. SCP-1048 has an uncanny ability to create companions of its own. These companions take the form of small teddy bears made from an assortment of materials found within the facility. Each of these newly formed bears is designated as SCP-1048. They at first, the SCP Foundation considered these bear replicas to be harmless, merely extensions of SCP-1048's anomalous nature. But as time went on, strange reports emerged from personnel on the night shift. Whispers echoed through the hallways, recounting sightings of the teddy bears moving on their own. Stories of soft laughter reverberating through locked doors and cold, lifeless eyes watching from the shadows. Dr. Carter, the lead researcher on SCP-1048, found himself intrigued and perturbed by these reports. He decided to conduct a late-night observation, setting up surveillance cameras in SCP-1048's containment chamber. As the night settled in, the dim glow of the monitors illuminated the room, revealing the teddy bears lined up along the walls. Their lifeless expressions seemed to fixate on Dr. Carter as if aware of his presence. Suddenly, the bears twitched ever so slightly. Dr. Carter leaned closer to the screen, his heart pounding in anticipation. The cameras captured every movement, every subtle shift. Then, it happened. One of the SCP-1048 teddy bears turned its head to face the camera, its eyes glistening with an unnatural light. The other bears followed suit, their movements synchronizing like a haunting dance. Dr. Carter could hardly believe what he was witnessing. The bears were communicating, and their intentions were becoming evident. They were planning an escape from their containment. Fear gripped Dr. Carter, but he knew he couldn't let these anomalous entities break free. He rushed to the intercom, notifying security of the impending threat. As alarms blared through the facility, the SCP-1048's bears leaped from their positions, scurrying towards the containment chamber's exit. Their innocent appearance now turned into something malevolent. The site was thrown into chaos as security teams mobilized to contain the breach. Dr. Carter watched helplessly from the control room, praying that their measures would be enough. The containment breach was eventually quelled, but not without losses. Security personnel found themselves battling sentient, animated teddy bears with sinister determination. In the aftermath, Dr. Carter stood before the remains of SCP-1048, wondering about the mystery that surrounded this enigmatic entity. What had given birth to such malevolence hidden behind the facade of innocence? Dr. Carter knew he was just one piece in the vast tapestry of the Foundation, and together, they stood strong against the unknown. As he returned to his work, he carried with him the wisdom that not all answers would be found, but that every step taken toward knowledge was a step forward for humanity. And so, the chronicles of containment continued, each entry a testament to the unwavering dedication of the SCP Foundation in preserving the fragile balance between the known and the unknown. For in this world of anomalies, the journey was just as important as the destination.